Hi, welcome to this tutorial. We'll show how to set up caustics in D5, then use them to create realistic glassware, a bee water lamp, and a glistening pool. Imagine this. When light passes through a transparent surface that's not quite smooth, it will refract, meaning it no longer moves in parallel lines. The result? Shimmering light patterns known as caustics, which have two types, refractive and reflective. To put it simply, the light spots on a wall formed by light reflecting off the water surface is reflective caustics, while those at the bottom of a swimming pool are due to refractive caustics. We'll first show how to set caustics for glassware. First, select the material and change its template to transparent. Switch on caustics. Put a point light near the glass bottles and turn on the caustic switch. Now, you can see caustics in real time. Increasing scattering intensity will brighten up light patterns and softness controls how soft a pattern's edge is. You can change the base color of the glass material to affect the color of caustics and shadows. When light bounces off uneven glass, it will create a caustic effect, reproducing the look of flowing water. That's how a bee water lamp in rendering works. First, you need to evenly position some light sources in the glass lamp cylinder. After grouping them together, you can adjust their attenuation radius and switch on caustics. Add a normal map to simulate the water surface and turn on its caustics switch. The intensity of the normal map influences the intensity of light patterns while UV controls their size. The scattering intensity decides their brightness, while softness controls how soft a pattern's edge is. Move on to rotate the lamp and add keyframes. It's better to slow down the rotation speed. As the lamp rolls, you'll notice the light patterns changing with its movement. To get a colorful bee water lamp, you can adjust the color of glass or light sources or give the glass material a base color map. The color of light patterns will change accordingly. First, the swimming pool needs a bottom. Second, the water surface should be a single-sided model. First, put above the swimming pool a rectangular light mirroring its size. Remember to turn down the brightness a bit, ensuring caustics won't be overshadowed. Then adjust the reflection visibility and color temperature and turn on caustics. Select the water material and switch on caustics. Now, you can see the caustic patterns at the bottom. The normal map controls the look of patterns, while flow velocity influences the wave speed. First, to better show the underwater caustics, the specular of the pool bottom's material can be toned down. Second, when you increase the water depth, it will be harder to see the caustics. So, make sure depth is set at a low value. Third, adjust the light color and the caustic color will change accordingly. Fourth, by changing how far the light is from the water surface, you can affect the range of caustics as well. Fifth, increasing scattering intensity will brighten up light patterns and softness controls how soft a pattern's edge is. That completes our tutorial. Thanks for watching.